What I find inspiring about in these waterways is the way that water kind of calms and brings people together. We're here at the corner of Westfield and Meridian Street, right here by the canal. And the canal is an extremely important resource for our drinking water. The Dig in the Art project allows us to beautify the community, but it also allows us to engage the community in their perspective on artwork, on what cleaner waterways mean to them. And it's really important for the community that lives around this area to be engaged in the process. We spend a lot of time working with them, communicating with them, asking them for ideas and feedback on what they wanted to see here. There was a survey put out. It was really helpful and I wanted to actually make sure that whatever the community said was heard. While we were walking around, I was taking a look at the trees and there's water over there. There's a little bridge that people walk past. There actually was a heron right over <laughs> across the street. I wanted to incorporate some of the elements of the actual surroundings here. I think it's really important as a connection point for people into being a part of something greater than just yourself. Art and artists can actually help solve problems. They can actually collaborate with people outside of art to enhance the outcomes. I feel like with an art installation, I don't know, it's just going to help bring a, a special feeling to Alice Carter Park. My hopes with this Dig Indie project that it will clean up the waterways. We're in this world together and the more that we can kind of take care of one another, the better off we'll be in the future for protecting our waterways and our future loved ones and friends.